Welcome back everyone, this is Jose Tuneo and Chris is today playing Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Last mission we did a good job, we captured the HBT and had no problems. On this one, we got to rescue some of our own. Uh, as soon as past me gets on it and clicks start, we can start the briefing. Good. We've been tapped for a search and rescue. The Navy's been flying sorties against rebel positions from its carrier battle group in the Black Sea. Last night, the bad guys got lucky with a SAM and took out one of our F-18s. The pilot and the weapons officers both bailed out before impact, but the rebels picked them up shortly after they activated their beacons. They're being held for interrogation at a farm near the crash site. Your job is to go in and bring them back out alive. Recon photos show the F-18 is still largely intact but heavily guarded. If it's possible to plant a demo charge and blow the plane, do it. But don't jeopardize your main mission. And try to minimize those season casualties. The Russians are already making a big stink at the UN about us being here. And we don't want to give them any more ammunition. If Moscow decides to intervene, we're going to find ourselves smack in the middle of a major war. Okay, uh, three objectives as always, plus the secondary objective, uh, rescue the pilot. He's held in the barn, it's pretty easy to rescue him if you know what you're doing. The weapons officer comes next. He's also easy to rescue, although he's although CQB, so it could be tough. Uh, get to the extraction zone and if possible destroy the F-18 which is guarded by quite a few positions but it should be easy to clear out right right so we're going to change our equipment to suppress the weapons because we don't want to give these tangos an alert that we're coming in so we're going to get at least Alpha is going to get some M4s, or at least him is going to get an M4. The grenade launcher, I know. Our demo guy is on Alpha, and he's going to get a G, uh, no G36, wrong weapon, an XM8 with C4, and he's going to get the suppressed version of that damn thing. Yes, the M249 can take a can take a suppressor of all damn things. Steve Reynolds is going to get that, an XM8 suppress with bangs. He's fast scrolling, but he's not scrolling fast enough. There we go, there's the XM8. With uh, flash, flash bangs. Go get the flash bangs. Good job. Now, David is going to take an MP5 because the MP5s are reliable. I should have probably taken a shotgun or the Mark 18 for that, but the MP5 is good. Take some frags, frag grenades there, and my snipers. I want them. To, I wanted him to take a suppressed bolt action rifle. Specifically the M48-3 with a suppressor, but that's a, that's a marine only weapon. That's only a force recon only weapon, I think. And it's not, a pay, and it's not available to the goats, which is a damn shame. So I decided to take the Mark 12 uh, special purpose receiver, if I remember correctly it was that way. SPR with a suppressor because I didn't necessarily need top level accuracy just needed enough accuracy to put targets down which is something I can get with the Mark 12 Mark 12, Mod 0, SPR and with a compact XM8 This map, this map is pretty damn dark if you're using Heroes Unleash mod and not wearing night vision. Okay. Alpha team and Bravo team are going to be set to clear this area of all hostiles. We need to secure the perimeter before engaging any other tangos. So you send Bravo south and Alpha uh, west and see if they engage anyone. Bravo does. I'll find not right now. They will. Okay, look left. 
Bravo's engaging right now. I don't want them to go directly towards the target. I want them to flank. And then move Alpha to support. They have tangos now, so. Yeah, it's pretty good, at least in the mod, in taking down enemies. Well, in the base game uh, as well, but right now they are improved. Now I want them to check that that area is actually clear and there are no more hostiles there. Good thing that I did. The AI tends to look in the direction where the threats are, they use the threat in the care. Okay. Alpha and Charlie are going to solve that little uh, the wreckage area. Going to provide uh, marksman support from up here. And Alpha is engaging, so I start engaging too. This rifle is pretty quiet. It sounds quiet. The thing with shooting the guys is that at times they start running and they might try to get to my position to kill me, which they can't do because either I or Alpha takes them down. I do. Goodbye, do. Okay, I want Alpha to start moving towards the F-18. There is mostly clear. Good thing we stopped there. Uh, tango. There we go. It's clear now. I want Charlie to assist Bravo now. And we move Alpha to set the explosives on the plane. I might not use first person weapon view in the next session of this game because it's a bit buggy. It's not the best. It's amazing, but it's not the best, as you can see right there. Okay, Alpha is now going to stay back and provide cover and prevent any reinforcements from uh, hitting us. Hitting us, they're going to cover our flank. And I missed. And I hit. That's why military snipers don't go for headshots, they go for chest shots, chest is bigger, and they're gone, okay, hi bravo, Okay, I'm going to assign Charlie to cover this side of the building and also to take down any other mooks that try to go in and prevent Bravo for win, from getting the hostage out. So there's nobody else, so Charlie now goes to cover the barn. Meanwhile, Bravo enters the house. As you can see, this MP5 recovers pretty damn fast. So we move in, and it looks clear, and there's a guy. Another hero. There was a guy. We move upstairs, check your corners. He's dead. Now, on this hallway, on, at the end of it is the hostage. We to throw a flashbang in there and move in and clear it. There. There's the bad guy and there's the weapon officer. He stand there up, which means this building is clear. Yep. Okay. Now I can't use the MP5 guy to clear out buildings because he will put the, host uh, the hostage's life at risk. Not something you want to do. Okay, now, Bravo is going to move and prepare to make entry on the barn. On our way. 
while Charlie clears most of it. They still have to make entry to clear it completely. Alpha, I want them to move and engage any targets of opportunity that appear in that area. Taking down these guys are, is pretty easy, at least these outside guards Goodbye. that have bought the armor. All of the enemies on this one campaign have armor. On the next campaign, Desert Siege, they don't have. Same with Island Thunder, I think. We've arrived. We're done. Okay, I want Alpha to continue circling, patrolling that area. Meanwhile, I keep Goodbye. killing position guys. Meanwhile, Bravo moves to the south and stack up and prepare to make entry. Alpha is doing a good job. They clear that shit. Okay. I need to take down that guy to the left. That one. He's the interrogator and if things go south, he'll execute the hostage. Not anymore. Now my final action as Charlie is to take down the Mook on the second floor. Uh, second floor to the right, and he should be there. There he is. Not a great view, not going soon, but good enough to take him down. There is only one guy in there, but I didn't know that, so I still throw the flashbang to stun anyone in there. Flashbang in, XM8, and everyone's dead. 